Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are returning, you know that I've been getting the truck ready to do some truck camping. So the next video that you're gonna see is probably me actually going truck camping in the back on my own after I've put so much time and effort into getting this thing ready. But in today's video, we're gonna be, first of all, we're gonna be fixing the leak. The, the top of door is like leaking. The rubber seals need to be replaced. So we're gonna do that. And then after that, we're gonna install the mattress. And then after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little something in there that I'm not gonna tell you about right now, but it will be very handy. And some of you might wanna do the same with your Mark One Caddy or Rabbit Pickup, whatever you've got. For those of you that are new here, this is my 1980 Volkswagen Rabbit Pickup from America, uh, California to be specific. It's a, a mountain green patina queen. I basically do videos where I, install new parts or do something to the truck and i've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys and it turns out a lot of you sort of see this and want to do the same sort of things or or you've helped me uh, achieve certain things with the truck so i think we can all sort of come together and help each other out especially in the comment section it's quite it's quite nice to see you know people interacting and sharing ideas and thoughts and stuff so yeah in the uk obviously we call them mark one caddies so a lot of the stuff that i do with this truck Although it's a left-hand drive, you can probably do the same thing with your caddy, whether it's in Europe or UK or in America, where you also have the rabbits. So, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So that way you get notified every time I bring out a new video, because YouTube is a bit hit and miss when it tells people. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's get cracking. set this out to dry overnight we've got the clear um, sticks like shit sealant I don't know if anybody's used that before we've got the clear one look at that so we've got a new rubber seal and obviously we've got the same rubber seal on the inside as well will I look I doubled up here and here will it be enough to make this stop the leaks. We're about to find out. you'd see loads of dripping at the top. See where those like rusty bolts are? See those? You'd see like drips coming from up in that direction, but mate, I'm not seeing no drips at all. I think we've done it. I think we've done it, boys. Today is a very exciting day. We just tested this again. I had Chloe jump in the back and sit in there whilst I, I physically poured water into there. Nothing, nothing came through, so super happy. Which means we can finally put in our foam mattress. I ordered this from Ikea. <laughs> now, now, the reasons why I went with Ikea is because reasonably priced warranty and guarantee and quality guarantee all that stuff and the dimensions apparently is the exact dimensions of the truck which are 135 which is across now it's actually 130 across so we might have to do some trimming and 190 which that is six foot that's about six foot long way so i think that's about 190 isn't it and it's 12 centimeters thick. Pretty affordable, it's going in the truck. Oh, 
not too bad. Do we still have headroom if we sit up? <laughs> Plenty of headroom still. It's got like a knobbly sponge. It's not like completely flat. It's got those like knobbly things. You know what I'm talking about. But it does go over the wheel arch as I thought it might. And of course, remember, I do have a mattress topper for this as well, if you remember, which will add to the thickness. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the mattress, just give it a little trim, just so we can accommodate for the wheel arches. You should be able to, yeah, look, you should be able to unzip this cover. Another great little quality, there we go, look. There's a zip there, if we un unzip this, let's get a bread knife, take the cover off, give it a nice trim, put it back on, put the cover on, jobs are good. <laughs> we won't need to do any more adjusting we'll see when we get that cover on but uh, I know it's not the prettiest thing ever but remember there's gonna be a cover on that tuck it all in nobody's gonna know mattress cover back on so the excess fabric will just sit on top of the wheel arch which is pretty cool I've also got a waterproof bed cover as well so let's chuck this on did you like that little transition so we've got foam mattress mattress cover waterproof mattress cover when we do go camping we'll have a mattress topper a fitted sheet quilt pillows all the rest of it but that has got to be up there with one of the best ideas i've ever had with this truck is to turn it into a bit of a truck camper oh, i'm so excited to go camping in this i'm so excited you're probably wondering, wow, how have I got the truck to be lit up so well? Well, the truth is, there's a cycling company in Australia called Nog. You might have heard of them. They sent me these bicycle front lights to test out for them, but they are amazing. They're so bright. This is the lowest setting as well. Let me make them even brighter. There we go. And I'm just jamming them in the door like that <laughs> they are so so bright I've actually used them more for just handheld torches instead of putting them on the bike because I don't really cycle at night there's nowhere really to go around here anyway but uh well we're all in it's a nice lovely cozy little camper now it's a camper slash pickup what the hell is that well, it's like a camper slash pickup truck. Do you like it, Holiday? She's sniffing and checking it out. She seems pretty comfy.
need an oopsie trying to put the board in there had to use some of this gradually making the edges nice and smooth and then two choices we've got some furniture varnish in dark oak satin or we've got dulux wood sheen interior and exterior quick drying tough durable stain and varnish in one church oak so yeah but i need to clamp this down and uh wait for that to to mend first but we're getting there first coat done on one side and then obviously when this when this is dry I'll have to flip it over and do the other side it's looking pretty nice looking pretty nice and then obviously I'll have to take this tape off and do that as well but we're getting there whilst we're waiting for the stain to dry let me just show you this, this little purchase I made a few weeks ago for this camping setup and uh, I saw it on eBay and I was like, gotta have that. But it's basically a, a, a water jug with a tap at the bottom. But the main reason why I got it is because it's got this built-in little soap dispenser. And I just thought, when I went camping with this the first time when I slept in the back of the truck, I was like, I constantly had like sticky hands when you're cooking and stuff. and get grubby quite often so I thought you know what it'd be cool is to have like a little little wash station so I've just put some water in I've got some soap in there now let's give it a test I think you're supposed to open this little top bit in so that it doesn't act as like a vacuum so taps here yes I've already put stickers on it I know it's just one of my little weird things I do I just I get stuff and I put stickers on it I don't know okay so oh there we go let you just do that Yes. Look at that. It's cool. I forgot to get a towel. So this is the secret little project thing that I was working on. I mean, it's nothing spectacular. It's literally a plank of wood, um, but it means, you know, we can have a shelf to put the, the heater on because we don't really want to put the heater on just the mattress. We can put like maybe like an iPad or the laptop here and we're in bed like this and we've got something to prop it up on and just relax before bed kind of nice or you know if you wanted to eat food off of something like a flat surface we've got a little tabletop and it can slide you know all the way back down to where our feet are and of course it's not in the way and we can heat up the truck. Remember this, this heater, as you saw in previous videos, 
it doesn't take long before this heats the entire back of the truck so yeah super happy with that we are pretty much set to go camping i'm excited such a simple idea come to life to serve a purpose look, got plenty of leg room look we could have this up all night with the heater on a platform like i said it is just a piece of wood so when it's not in use we could just put it underneath the mattress or something you know when we're driving somewhere or whatever but yeah nice little addition to the truck and the, the wood stain come out really nice or varnish whatever you want to call it it's a nice color and uh, very happy very happy thanks so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and join me again in the next episode where we're actually gonna go solo truck camping i don't know where probably somewhere that we shouldn't be until then i'll see you in the next episode and merry christmas to one and all <laughs>